In this video, we're in Microsoft Excel, and I want to show you how to remove page breaks. Your first step is to change your view. If you go to the View tab on your ribbon, and change your view to Page Break Preview. And that will show you, with these blue dashed lines, where your page breaks are. Now, there are, in fact, two types of page breaks. These dash lines indicate automatic page breaks and they're placed there dependent on the size of the paper that you're printing out on for example if i went to page layout and i change the size of my paper to a3 then i only end up with one automatic page break if i change it back to a4 i end up with two automatic page breaks you've also got a horizontal page break down here now, a manual page break appears differently in this view. For example, if I put a page break to the left of the price column, and I would do that on the page layout tab, breaks, insert page break. So a manual page break appears as a solid line. You can also have a horizontal page break. If I clicked here, insert page break, there we are. You can have a horizontal manual page break and that also appears as a solid line now let's deal with deleting these manual page breaks first of all to delete a vertical manual page break all you need to do is click in a cell to the right of the page break on your page layout tab go to the breaks button and remove page break if you want to delete a horizontal page break click in a cell beneath that page break, go to breaks and remove page break. Now, if you want to delete all manual page breaks, so I'll put a page break in again. If you want to delete all of the manual page breaks, you go to breaks, reset all page breaks. Let's move on to these automatic page breaks. Now you can't delete these automatic page breaks, but you can move them. For example, if I wanted to print all of these columns on one page, what I could do is drag this page break over to the right of the document. And what that will do is it will shrink the text in terms of the font size, so everything fits on one page. If I go to File, Print, you'll see that that's the case. And you can do the same for your horizontal automatic page breaks. You can either drag that up or drag it down. And you'll notice that once you do that, both for the vertical automatic page break and the horizontal automatic page break, once they've been moved, they become solid because they are now manual page breaks. And don't forget to get rid of your manual page breaks. Go to Breaks, Reset All Page Breaks. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that is useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next video.